Hi, I'm Michael Verdon, the Aviation and Marine Editor at Rob Report and robreport.com. Today we're here flying the Pivotal Black Fly. Blackfly, it's an ultralight aircraft. It weighs about 348 pounds and it's super accessible. Um, you don't need a pilot's license to fly it. It's all fly-by-wire as well, so you control it with a joystick and the flight computers tell all these motors what to do. It makes it really easy and helps you fly safely. The training I went through is designed for somebody who's flying the Blackfly, so it's comprehensive and it, it teaches you the basic maneuvers and how to handle the aircraft. Blackfly is a really accessible way to get into aviation because ultralights in the United States don't require pilot's licenses. Because of that, what we do to make sure that everyone's operating it safely is we have a really rigorous training program and uh, people have to meet our qualifications, including being over the age of 18. They put you through emergency scenarios in case things fail, which they probably rarely do. In my case, it was six days in the simulator, and if you make a mistake, you have to go back and repeat it. So there's a lot of repetition. You get familiar with the controls and kind of the idea of flying yourself. All right, my friend, you're cleared for ignition. We take off from a small landing pad, and the black fly flies back behind me about 100 yards, and then it enters a circuit to the right, which is about probably 300 yards long. And we kind of go around that several times, keeping speed up. We transition from hover to cruise mode, and then we kind of make a final approach on the other side of the big field over there. We're flying at 250 feet, 46 knots, which may not sound like much, but if you're in a small aircraft and not a pilot, it seems like quite a bit. So we go into a landing sequence where we bring the altitude down to 100, switch back to hover mode, come in at 40 feet, and then kind of hover over the pad and bring it down. And in the last 15, 20 feet, it goes into auto land, so the aircraft takes over. I was pretty nervous. I mean, it's one thing to do it in a simulator where you can kind of practice it over and over. It's another thing to actually take control. And every time I came out of there, there was a surge of adrenaline. Once you go to a certain height and you let the joystick go on its own, it kind of stays on course so you can kind of actually enjoy looking around. So I enjoyed the scenery. It's a beautiful area out here in California's Central Valley. No other aircraft or very few aircraft, so just the hills in the background. It was really actually quite serene in a way, you know, really peaceful. It was fun. We're starting to bring Blackfly to market. We've delivered it across the country to a number of customers. There's a tremendous amount of interest, but now we're really focused on what we're calling Helix. Helix is our latest iteration, and it's what is going to be going into production. Helix is really the scalable production successor, so it's designed to be mass manufactured. It's also incorporating everything we've learned from our early access program, where we delivered Blackfly aircraft to customers. So we've got better user interfaces, more performance, new iterations on a lot of the components like motors, and yeah, it should be an even better product. It's very basic, which is pretty much what you want if you're not a pilot, but they have everything kind of dialed in. I came to appreciate that more and more as I got to know more about the aircraft, but it, it's really fun to fly. If you have a lot of open space that you have access to, this would be an awesome, fun toy to own. If you want to see more on Pivotal and the VTOL segment in general, go to robreport.com.